when I first saw Rye, I liked him. He's a big, strong horse, but he's very athletic to go with it. He's just been a gentleman of a horse from day one. I got a phone call from a boutique breeding stable out in Chinchilla, and they, and they said, look, Rob, we've got a horse that's not going to go through the sales. Would you be interested in buying him? I said, how much? He said, 10 grand. I said, yeah, I need a cheapie to put on my website. And then after he'd won his fifth race in a row, I knew he went all right. <laughs> I want him to have a decent hit out. Not full race time, but close enough to. That day, the, the Golden Rose, when he was a $1.55 favourite, really, really high pressure. And I watched the race here at Eagle Farm. There were maybe 500 people, members of the public, all the owners, their family. Bonjour. It's the only time I've ever watched the race because I, I don't really want to see a replay of the race because of the injury that happened at the 200. You have two sesamoid bones here, and he's done this one here. I felt that the horse had the race at his mercy. He was still well in front. And then I saw him falter and jag left. I knew something serious had happened. They actually did surgery and removed the top half of it, which was um, all chipped away. My primary emotion immediately after the race was the welfare and well-being of the horse. Normally, such an injury can be catastrophic. Well, x-rays now, like it's fibrous tissued up, as strong as it can be. Here we are some 10 months later, and the horse is up to full gallop again and going well. Just go on the track and just sort of walk for 100 metres, and then you give me time to get in the grandstand. Okay. I, I thought at best we were 30, 70 to get back to the racetrack. Now I'm comfortable in thinking that we're 80, 20 to get back to full athletic ability. They'll start stretching out in a minute as they hit the thousand. The signs are very positive. He's had a number of, of fast gallops. Bang, that's the thousand, clock's running. We've still got a ways to go. 10-7. I'm a big believer that a horse a horse's confidence is very important. Going a little quicker this section. So to have him confident that not only can he gallop again, 14 neat, he can win mm, the running super and he can recover well. 11 neat, that was lovely. So now we wander down and get a report from the riders. The plan going forward with Rothfire, I've set some pretty lofty aspirations. The target race being the Everest. We'll have a chat, Ben, but are you happy? Absolutely no signs of Rothfire having any issues. I do believe he can be a superstar. When he won the run to the Rose, he ran marginally just outside the Rose Hill track record. If he's come back stronger, which I think he has, physically he's a more imposing specimen than he was then, so it really is going to come down to soundness, in my opinion. Gee, I wish there were more like him. He was just a dream horse from day one. To get him back to this stage, for me, is already a bit of a miracle.